Here we go, guys. Sunday, August 7, early in the morning. Uh, I shouldn't say early in the morning, just before 7. Um, those of you that follow the channel know I, I do the chartering part-time. I have a full-time job, and then every weekend and vacation, I do charters. I took a week off in July, had nine straight days of charters booked and we got eight of those in i do the same thing in august this is the week starting yesterday through next sunday and first three days are canceled because of the wind so we're on our way to get coffee but i have the camera equipment with me we got a couple of leads one from doc and uh a couple that i've seen on the road we'll do a boats by the side of the road mid summer edition and let's see with the cooling economy with the rising interest rates and with the summer starting to come near the end and i know it's not over but realistically from a boat ownership perspective you know august is kind of late to be buying a boat i think if you want to enjoy it for the summer and i wonder if that will be reflected in used boat prices we'll see Hope you enjoy. Uh, as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And we'll pick it up as we get closer to the first boat. All right, we're in the uh, town of Jamesport, and this is the one lead I got, a boat I haven't seen. I was told somewhere in this town there's a Grady White on this road. This is Route 25. This is one of the main thoroughfares in the North Fork of Long Island. Eastern Long Island, for those of you that don't know the North Fork. So, let's see if we can find it. Huh. So, not a Grady, but there is, hey, a little aluminum boat. Oh, and another boat next to it. All right, we'll go a little further down and loop around and check them both out. Although, that first one looks familiar. That looks like a Mako I looked at last year that was further east. I wonder if it's the same boat. But uh, we'll, we'll find a spot to loop around and we'll come back and check them out in a minute. All right, here we are. We're actually in the town of Aquabogue, not Jamesport. I did not see that. Grady anywhere but we got two boats that look affordable here um, and that little tin boat's got a newer Tahatsu on it that, that should be interesting right, let's check them out we'll check this boat out I thought this was but I don't think it is I thought this was a Mako I looked at last year it looks like a Mako Man, nope, it's an old Roballo originally sold. I don't know if you could tell in South Miami at Johnson Kirby. The Roballo is barely showing there. I guess would be this a 19. Looks like the uh, transom was redone. You could see the fiberglass here looks new, it's a different, a uh, little different than the rest. Can we see the year? 70 something it's faded maybe 75 oh boy so this would definitely be considered a project boat let's see when when it was last in the water 22 okay it's registered through 22 these are three years so somebody registered this back in 19 floor looks solid fiberglass floor but definitely homemade uh homemade council No rigging, don't know the condition of the fuel tank. Got a little wood board here for access to the bilge. There's the plug. Battery box all broken, so external battery. Yeah, I mean, 
This is if somebody wants a, a weekend project, a father-son project. Trailer looks solid. Uh, there's a phone number if anyone's interested. 917-941-4608. Uh, I'm more intrigued by this one. This is a, a mini version of a Skinner boat. And right off the bat, I see a, a newer engine, a decent trailer, three rows of seating, a little 15 four stroke to hot 2400 bucks. Hey, if you, if you're gonna buy a kayak for a pedal kayak for not much more than this, this is not a bad alternative. It's a Starcraft, I believe. It even has a little bit of a, a, a spray rail here. So this deflects waves as they're coming up. I think this is a StarCraft. I could be wrong. Five-star trailer. It's chained. I like that. I guess people are stealing. It's very clean. A couple dents here and there. But it's it's a tin boat. Uh, it's meant to take those those bumps. I'm intrigued by this one. Again, only because if you're looking to get into a boat that gets into shallow water, has a fairly reliable four-stroke on it, you're not gonna break any speed records with this, but if you just wanna be able to get on the water and, you know, push the back bays, you could take this out on the sound on a good day. And this is what a pedal kayak costs, and you can fish three people on this. And it's gonna be easy to trailer. Let's see if we can see the year. I thought it was a StarCraft, but I could be wrong. It's a 96, and it starts with, man, I can't read it, A-C-B-Y, A-C-B-Y. See if we can figure that out, A-C-B-Y. And I'm gonna guess 14 feet on this. All right. Not bad. All right. I know further east, about uh, 20 miles, there's a few more boats, so we'll check those out too. All right, we're in South Hold now, about, like I said, maybe, I said 20, might be 15 miles east of Aquabogue, again, eastern Long Island, and uh, we're not far from my boat. I have a 32 CV in Greenport, one town east of here. But my boat yard, when I was driving by it the other day, I saw a small tin boat there and a couple of other boats for sale. And, you know, the, this tin boat theme, this might be the ticket for a lot of people. So I'm, I'm curious what that tin boat's about. And we'll, we'll look in the yard and see what else they have for sale. Should be coming up on it very shortly about 30 seconds out. And here we are, Albertsons. Well, let's see if I remember where these boats were. I think they're right in here. Don't tell me it's gone. Don't tell me it's gone. Don't tell me it's gone. Maybe it's up there. It might be. It might be these. Yeah, here we are. There's a couple small boats here. Yes. This is the StarCraft, and there's a little whaler here. I don't know if that's for sale, but let's uh, let's take a peek at this one. All right, and this one is definitely a StarCraft, and it looks like it was in the water as recently as 2020. It's got a 23 expiration on the registration, very similar to that other boat. Uh, so this is a 16. So that's what Skinner's is, a, a 16 StarCraft, but a different model. I think Skinner's is bigger than this. Um, it's an 83, 2,500 trailer as is, but, uh, trailer looks in decent shape. Another 15 on it. Skinner's got a 40 on his, so th this is definitely a smaller boat. But again, the three rows of seating, little external fuel tank, brand new bilge pump there too. Uh, battery box here, a couple of rod holders. Um, and you know, you're not buying this boat to fish Montauk or, you know, to go out in the ocean with it, unless you're really crazy. Let's look at the transom. 
transom is plywood and it does look like eventually will need to be reinforced or redone um but if you just want to fish even the long island sound i see a lot of these out on the sound on a calm day absolutely a little spot to hold your anchor i like that uh, this is a perfect blackfish boat to get near all those rocks close to the north shore of long island the connecticut side too um and again very very shallow dead rise this will go in very skinny water and if you're going to spend the same amount of money on a kayak why not this this is going to be safer see more seaworthy i think you can pop a couple of your friends on you have a lot more room i don't know i think you know i think these are tremendous values and Skinner's proved it. How many fish has he caught on a 16-foot aluminum boat? All right, so that's two tin boats. Now, I know across the street right there, on the bay side, is Port of Egypt. And I did see a big sailfish there for sale. Maybe we'll check that out. So we'll have a couple of options. We'll have uh, two small boats. And one boat that has no engine is 40 years old and clearly 40 plus years old and clearly needs a marks. This is a nice whaler, by the way. I don't think it's for sale. I think it's a customer boat, but, uh, you know, 13 foot whaler, classic design. These go for big money, even though this would sell for five, six times what the StarCraft is selling for. But let's go across and, and check out what they have there and we'll wrap it up after that. Right, you'll see literally how close these marinas are. I'm just pulling out. I am gonna go, and actually they're, they both offer in-water storage, Albertsons and Port of Egypt, and they are literally, it, it, it's the same entrance they use, and here we are already. Well, you know what, there's a north coast there too that I've driven by a hundred times, but let's, for poop and giggles, let's look at a, a more expensive boat. Let's look at this sailfish. I don't think we've ever looked at a sailfish in the side side of the road video series. Let's check it out. There's also this big Grady here with twin 300 Yamaha V6s. It's a beautiful boat. Look how shiny those engines are. This is the new style of uh, 300. But I'm a big fan of sailfish. Uh, much like Nordic Star and some other boats, they make big boats. And what I mean by big is just deep boats. And this is a used boat. You can see registered in 22. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a 19, but it looks like it's in awesome shape. Fresh bottom paint, really nice bow flare. I mean, I can, I can stick my head under this. And again, the theory with this is when waves crash up, they deflect off this and don't come on the boat. Um, forward seating, it's gonna have lots of storage, 200 Yamaha, 200, so I'm gonna guess this is a 23 if it has a 200. It has the rear bench seat, which is nice. No, uh, no storage on the floor in the back for, you know, your fish catch. It's got a live well in that corner. It's got rod holders and cup holders along the side. Small pop-up cleats. It's got a little Garmin BHF. It's got an electronics box up there. It's got life jacket storage right behind it. Four rod holders on the T-top. Four more down there. Again, another little tackle box over there. Cup holders behind that. Storage under this seat. Fusion radio. A uh, a BHF. It's got the Yamaha fuel management system. More storage down there. A little glove box with a mesh net. I wish I could jump on this, but I don't want to do that. Let's see if we can see the year. Where's the plate? Here it is. Oh, it's an 18. It's an 18. Boarding ladder here. Closes up here. This is all non-skid, so kids are walking on. They're not going to get... Uh, you know, with wet feet, they're not going to slip and slide. More rod holders back here. 
I like this. This is a neat little touch, little small detail, but you can put pliers and knives and scissors in there. Looks like it also has curtains for the side if it is rough. I'm curious what the price is. I, I'm going to guess it's a 23. Um, and it's a big 23. I mean, th that's a 30 Grady next to it. And, you know, clearly the Grady is longer and bigger. But you can see how high up this comes. And Grady's are known for these huge bows. I mean, look at this thing. This is meant to slice through water. But this isn't that far behind. All right. Let's play the, the guess game. 23... Four years old with a single 200. Don't know the hours, but I presume it's in good mechanical condition. <clears throat> this is one of the more bulletproof engines that Yamaha makes. This is uh, a 200. This is based on the 150 block, which is that and the 300 are probably Yamaha's most reliable engines ever. I am going to guess 100K. Let's see how close I am. Doesn't look like it comes with a trailer. Lenko trim tabs too. You put those down when it's rough. They're a little small though. I'm not sure. I mean, it's interesting. See, so see the size difference with those trim tabs here versus those. My boat has huge trim tabs too. It makes a big difference in rough seas. But I like this boat. I like this brand. Uh, side door for the head. Forward seating here too. Let's. Oh, there's the model number. It's a 241. 241. Now, my <laughs> Sailfish has a way of naming their boats, branding their boats. 241, but it, it, it might be a 23. I, I know they make a, a 26 or 27 model that's actually a 25. So I'm curious what the, the real length of this boat is. Width, I guess, is close to 9 feet. I mean, it's, it's, I like this boat a lot. So... We'll check out the website and I'll come back and do a voiceover right after this and then give you my final thoughts on the ride home. And I was uh, close, but no cigar on the price. 90 grand. Uh, it is a 2018, but bought in 2019, hence the 2022 expiration on the three year registration in New York. Um, under 200 hours. Looks like a really, really decent deal in 2022 and maybe that is the effect of you know a late summer sale where you probably have less buyers than you would in april or may where somebody's looking to take advantage of the boat at the beginning of the season i'm curious if 200 horsepower is enough on this boat um i did look the boat up we'll we'll jump to that um to that web page i did look the boat up on sailfish's website and it is in fact a true 24 86 beam 108 gallons a fuel, so with that 200, that's a miserly 200, it's a four-cylinder 200. You'll, you'll get about 10 hours at cruise, which is not bad. So not a bad deal. And I said I'm going to come back with my thoughts, but we're going to switch it up because incredibly, on my drive home, I did the last uh, you know voiceover with the, within the car where I'm giving you my thoughts. At the corner of my block, there's another 16-foot StarCraft Luna boat, a newer one, a little fancier one. So we'll, we'll jump into that because it caught me by surprise. And I did look it up when I left my house a couple of hours earlier, an hour and a half earlier. It was not there. Here's a screenshot of that, that drive out. It was not there. So by the time I, between the time I left my house and uh, came back, Somebody put this boat up for sale. Just incredible timing, and I, I, I'm sure I just missed them by a little bit. All right, so change of plans. I'm literally on my way home. I live down this road right here, and I don't know if this boat was here this morning. If it was, shame on me for driving right by it. I, I, I can't believe if I did, but uh, another small tin boat. So... And this looks more like a Skinner model. This is a little wider, longer, got a nice cover on it. Let's let's check it out and see what we got here. All right, it is a Skinner model. It's it's a 2005 StarCraft. These StarCrafts today, uh, six grand, Yamaha 70, low hours. That's a 2000, 2018 trailer with electric winch, Garmin, Baitwell, Bimini top, no work needed, runs excellent, six grand. 
this is literally Skinner's boat, literally. And he just bought a new boat. I'm not going to spoil it. I'll let him talk about it on his head. New for Skinner means, you know, it's only 35 years old rather than, you know, 50 years old. But this is it. And, and I believe his model that he has now was like this and somebody converted it to a center council. But Jesus, uh, 72 stroke, runs excellent per the ad. I, this is it. This is if if you want something less basic than those uh, smaller tin boats we saw. Um, this is it. Six grand. Looks like it's in really good shape. It's got a gas. It's got a built-in gas tank. There's a a lever here. I guess you pop that open somehow. I don't want to break it. And there might be a trick to it. Uh, three seats. Again, these are aluminum. You can launch these off the beach. I know there's a couple of beach ramps here on the east, east end of Long Island on the North Shore. Fish the sound. And yeah. And let's see. Maybe the other one was a Starcraft, if I can tell. No, I can't tell. Um, but yeah, the boat is in 05. The motor's a 2000. The trailer's brand new. Bought at Albertsons. We were just there. Um, little storage for the trailer more storage under here carpet in the front not sure about that yeah carpet here too I like this though this this gets you out of the Sun Wow all right I will also shoot this to Skinner this is pretty funny And there you go, a wide gamut of boats, uh, three aluminum boats, uh, 16, uh, 14 to 16 feet, I'd say. I'm, I'm not sure if that Alumacraft was 14 or 16. Uh, 23 or 2,400 to 6,000 on the aluminum boats, and then that really nice sailfish at 89,000. Uh, we'll say 90,000, I think 89.9, but maybe you can negotiate that down. Uh, let me know what you think and what you think of tin boats in general. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.